Good mid to late afternoon, connectors and connectettes. This is my third documentation of the day because it's been a day and I need you. I'm getting words of encouragement. I certainly appreciate it. And you know what? This all comes around because you're helping me get through this day and encouraging me and asking me how my day went. Of course, I'll reciprocate. And uh, that's how this thing works. That's how we, we do for each other. I did give in and have four smoked wings at the, at the potluck, even on top of what I had eaten. So I added eight points to my day. I'll just have to deal with it. We've had the range of emotions. I thought I was going to fight one of my coworkers that is exactly like me, which is exactly why I wanted to fight him because we, we just left the day yesterday um, in, in a bad place. I went in a foul mood. It's probably why I overdid it for dinner last night. And uh, everything's all good. We kissed and made up. And uh, then had the weigh-in that I knew was probably going to be a gain, and it was after having a great week last week, only using 10 weeklies, and I still had a one-pound gain. Why? Who knows? It doesn't matter. I'll try it again next week. I'm not giving up. It's working for me. Here's what's not working for me is there's so many aromas inside this vehicle right now. I took a bunch of stuff home, going to bring it home to my family that wanted some of this, some of that, some of this. Will you give me a little sample of this? All right. So there's a lot of smells in here. Number one. I overcooked green beans. Way too many green beans. There's more green beans that I'm bringing home than they sell at a farmer's market. So I'm, I'm smelling that, which that's fine. Green beans are good. And there's some Boston butt. That it's, oh my God. I wish they made Boston butt in a Yankee candle because this makes me want to eat a live uh, pig right now. I'm not. I, there's no pigs around here. I've been looking. So, all right, on top of that. So it's the desserts. That's what's getting me. So you wouldn't ask an alcoholic to run by the liquor store on the way home and grab you uh, some liquor, would you? But let's go ahead and ask the recovering fat guy to bring home a bunch of desserts because we got a sampler here. Now, first of all, it's almost like I got a bunch of scantily clad women in here. This is the dessert sampler. We got some sort of a, a cheesecake, there's a carrot cake, banana pudding, pecan pie, some sort of a peach delight, one of those brookies, brownie cookies right there. All right. Um, there's a regular cheesecake. Then there's cookie cake. Eight different desserts. So would you ask the alcoholic to go out of the liquor store and say, hey, while you're in the area, would you pick me up some Jaeger, some vodka, some tequila, some Cavassier, some Hennessy, some uh, whiskey, some beer, and maybe some Zima. I don't know that they even make Zima anymore. That's just the first thing that popped in my head. No, you wouldn't do that. But... Here's where we're really testing the willpower because, like I said, these are women from around the world right here. They all look different. They all taste wonderful. I want to stick my finger in every one. Mm. God. <laughs> so sorry. So that was too much. All right. These desserts, I want to stick, stick my uh, finger in and sample. I want to put my mouth on all of them and just go nuts and i know in the end if i eat a little bit of one of these desserts i'm gonna eat a lot of all of them and then i'm gonna be surprised that i have blood and urine that are filled with sorghum molasses and sugar and i will become an acute diabetic and be on insulin the rest of my life after this so i feel like with these eight different desserts i've got a blonde a brunette uh, a redhead that's clearly the carrot cake um, a strawberry blonde, that's the peach delight. I've got a mixed girl, that's one of these cheesecakes. That white girl, she, she's the blonde, she's the regular cheesecake. That cookie cake, she's the brunette. This brookie, um, she's a hot Latina. This pecan pie, that's a southern belle for sure. And the banana pudding, uh, she's I guess probably from uh, Brazil. They're all hot. I want to get after all of them. I do not have that kind of stamina, and I'm uncomfortable with them, especially when I'm uncovered and I can smell them all together. Um, I feel like I'm at a party with a bunch of naked women, and I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> it's uncomfortable in so many ways, but I'm going to fight through it because I'm going to make those people happy at my house come hell or high water. So what we do for our loved ones, isn't it? Suffer. Anyways. I love them. I love you. Hots for you. Always have, always will. I want a piece of you. I'm not going to say anything about my finger and mouth when it comes to you. <laughs>
I'm out of control. It's the smell of the sugar doing this. God bless you. I'm so sorry. Have a good rest of your Friday. I'm going to recover. I need to be in recovery. You're the best and I'm a dork. Until we meet again, I bid you adieu. Stay classy, connect.